You haven't had anybody tell you that she's pregnant yet, have you? A couple of times in the last times week. they're still doing that? I'm still getting surprised every yeah. time. Acting along. about the same as last time, which isn't surprising. <laughs> Did they grow too much? No, pretty stable. Yeah. All right, time to find the baby. It's somewhere way they hide it. <laughs> Not as easy to hide anymore. Yeah. Five to 130. That's good. Yep. A little lower than it's been, but it's still okay. So when it's time to come out, it's supposed to be the same like the one. No, a heart rate can be kind of. I mean, you were used to it seeing anywhere between 115 and 165 during pregnancy. Usually in the beginning of pregnancy is high, and as the pregnancy goes along, most babies, the heart rate starts to come down some. So the baseline for a lot of babies around this time is 120s or 130s, and sometimes 140s. For you today, it's 125 to 130. Last time, I think it was in the 130s. So, but yeah, the baby's definitely... Uh, there it's yeah it's there and it's slowed up a little bit at heart rate so it's okay it's not time yet <laughs> not yet <laughs> have you even noticed anything that made you wonder if at times you've contracted a little bit or not really i i had like a little contraction but not uh... nothing substantial <laughs> dropping So next week, what we'll do, assuming you're still pregnant a week from now. Um, we'll see. Right, we'll, we'll see what happens. But assuming you're still pregnant, we will actually check the cervix to see if it's trying to do anything or not to decide when would we possibly try to help you, how long do we let you stay pregnant if nothing wants to happen without help. Um, because if the cervix is favorable trying to start to do something even if you haven't noticed evidence something's happening if the cervix is getting ready then it's easier to help you get into labor uh, if the cervix is still closed and doing nothing it would be hard to get you into labor um, but that way next week I, I would check what it is and kind of help decide with you when what's kind of the don't go past date that we would might be still a few weeks but uh, you and I would kind of decide on how long do you want to potentially be pregnant yet, slash how favorable is the cervix to know what could we or couldn't we try to do to help you if you don't just go into labor on your own. So obviously if you don't go into labor by next week and we check your cervix, we may set a date for whatever, you know, a week or two later to make something happen. You still could go into labor between me checking you next week and that date we set which would still be ideal. I'd still rather your body just decide it's time and it wakes up and it does something. But first time moms, it's actually semi-common, fairly common to need some help. Yep. When I think about most of uh, babies I've delivered and a first time mom, those are the ones more commonly we have to help get into labor. And they tend to go past their due date because it just, things don't want to wake up. No. Start pushing like moving stuff in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I knew of a way that would definitely get you yeah. into labor, but all the things out there are just myths. Yeah. They don't def they don't work with certainty. So mm -hmm. not that you can't try them. It's just 